This is a digital multimeter, a powerful compact device capable of measuring virtually all properties associated with electricity, including voltage, current, resistance, and capacitance. You may be surprised to learn that this sophisticated instrument evolved from this simple device. It is an electroscope the 200-year-old ancestor of our modern meter and possibly the first electrical instrument. This style of the electroscope was invented in 1787 by British scientist Abraham Bennett. We can create a working model of this early instrument with materials you can find around your home. First, a bit of background. You may know that the atom has three basic components. Negatively charged electrons, positively charged protons, and neutrons, which carry no charge. Because of their electric charge, protons and electrons interact. Electrons with a negative charge repel one another. Likewise, protons with a positive charge also repel one another. But protons and electrons with opposite charges attract one another. Most materials have equal numbers of protons and electrons, meaning their net charge is zero. Their charges balance out. There are no observable forces. But if the electron-proton mix is not balanced, the forces reveal themselves. Let's change the balance. You may have done this. Take a small rubber balloon and rub it on some fabric. Most fabric works. After rubbing, bring the balloon close to some small pieces of paper. The paper is attracted to the balloon. During the rubbing process, the rubber balloon picks up extra electrons. It now has a net negative charge. The electrostatic force from these extra electrons attracts the protons in the paper with such force the paper jumps onto the balloon. I use the term electrostatic to describe this force. Static means the charged particles are not flowing. They remain captured on the balloon. Unlike electricity, which is a flow of charged particles from one point to another. Let's go back to building the electroscope. Bennett's 1787 electroscope was designed to detect and measure electrostatic fields. Our simple version will detect these fields. We need a clear drinking glass or jar, some medium weight wire, any conductive metal wire will do, and some aluminum foil. Cut two identical triangles of aluminum foil. Cut them so that they fit into the glass you're using. Punch holes in the top of each triangle. Next, bend the wire like this, so that it hangs suspended in the glass. The bottom of this metal cradle will hold the aluminum leaves. The completed electroscope looks like this. To test it, rub a balloon on fabric and bring it close to the top of the glass. The aluminum leaves separate. An electrostatic field has been detected. Our ancient electrical instrument works. You may know why the aluminum leaves separated. Remember that electrons repel one another. When the charged balloon approaches the top of the device, its negative charge repels electrons, pushing extra electrons into the bottom of the aluminum leaves. The ele extra electrons in each leaf repel one another, separating the leaves. Removing the balloon allows the electrons to return to their normal balanced position. The leaves relax. Bennett's electroscope also measured the approximate strength of the field. This can be done by measuring the angle the leaves separate by. Electroscopes that do this are constructed with one moving leaf. I constructed this working model. The principle of operation remains the same, but only one leaf moves. The protractor provides a scale to read the deflection angle, making this device more of an instrument. You can probably build a device like this using equipment you have at home. 
If you need an idea for a school assignment or science fair, you may want to consider constructing an electroscope. For more ideas and science videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the video's link.